everybody. Welcome. Today we are going to be doing another restorative stretching session. How does that sound? Fuel your body through stretch and feel so good. Okay, we're gonna start on the backs. Your feet are hip distance apart, your toes are pointing forward. You're gonna drive your knees together and apart. This is a dynamic and stra static stretching session. It's to allow your body to either warm up for a workout you're about to do, to recover from a workout that you just did, or for recovery on your days off. This is useful for any of those times. You can really utilize this at any time. And bring your feet back to a neutral, hip distance apart. You're pushing your pelvis into the, or your lower back into the floor, and you're pushing your pelvis forward, pushing your lower back away from the floor without lifting your hips forward and backwards. We're realigning our spine as it should be stacked vertebrae by vertebrae. And your legs are gonna be out long and wide. Your toes are gonna to be flexed towards your shin. You're going to be squeezing and releasing your glutes. As you're squeezing and releasing, I want you to bring your elbows narrow next to your sides and you're gonna press your elbows into the floor and release simultaneously. We're just activating our hips, our upper body, a little bit, all at once. Beautiful. Now release your arms, release your glutes. Bring your feet long and narrow, but they should still have a little bit of space in between. You are going into windshield wipers with your feet. So your toes are flexed towards your shin. At the same time, your feet are going back and forth, okay? As you're doing that, your knuckles are on your temples and you're driving your elbows together and apart. My body naturally, naturally wants to synchronize during this. And that's okay. I'm gonna let it do it. And relax your upper body. Bring the bottoms of your feet together and let your knees hang open. Your palms are together, but your palms are facing out. Your arms are locked out and you're driving your arms overhead and back down. Beautiful job, everybody. You should feel a nice hip opener with those knees out. Your arms are as locked out as you can possibly get them. This is not a forceful movement. You're not pushing your hands into the floor. As you're pressing up and back, you're letting your arms fall where they need to fall. Beautiful job. Bring your feet back to neutral. You're straightening out that right leg. You're gonna lift that right leg up and down. Your upper body is relaxed. Your palms are facing the ceiling. Toes are flexed towards your shin. Your leg is locked out. We've got two more on this side. Last one. And bend that right knee, straighten out that left leg. Toes are flexed towards the shin, we're lifting that. The leg is locked out, your upper body is relaxed. got two more on this side and last one beautiful job everybody okay our knees are together our feet are apart we're gonna alternate up and down okay our toes are flexed our feet are apart but our knees are together we're isolating our hip flexors and really putting the pressure on them while we're doing this upper body's relaxed Mine already tried to push into the ground to help alleviate any of my 
tension on my hip flexors. Last one right here. Drop our feet down, our feet are out wide. Drop our knees side to side. Squeeze in our glutes on each twist. This is a nice gentle movement. We're in no rush. Our upper body is still relaxed. Good job, everybody. And we're going into those pelvic movements, forward and backwards, pushing our lower back into the floor and away from the floor without lifting our hips. We're going back with our feet coming together and our knees are open. Our palms are out, palms are facing down. Our arms are in a T position. We're pressing and releasing into the floor with just our palms. Okay, once you've established pressing and releasing with your palms, start squeezing and releasing your glutes simultaneously. You should feel an even greater hip opener once you start squeezing and activating those glutes. If you need to close your eyes, and focus on where you're pushing. I encourage you and I invite you to do so. One of the most important things as we're doing this is to just be here in the now. Be here with me. Be here with my voice. Be here with your body. Nothing else matters right now. The only thing that matters is you. We're going to keep our feet and our hips open like this. We're going to bring our hands together. Our palms are facing out. We're going back for those overhead extensions. Our glutes are relaxed. We don't want to squeeze and release them anymore. We've got three more. Two more. And last one. Okay, we're bringing our knees up. Our left leg is straightened out. We're driving our right knee into our chest and we're holding it here. We're turning our right foot around and around. Feel it out. Do some circles left. Do some circles right. Draw your name out with capital letters. Wake up that ankle. And again, do whatever feels right for you. If that doesn't feel good, if something doesn't feel good, come out of it, shake it out, reset, reassess, and do what's right for you. Okay, we're going to take our left hand, and we're pulling that knee across our body, reaching out with our right arm. Our palm should be up facing towards the ceiling. Should feel a nice stretch in that outer thigh and glute area. We're gazing towards that arm that's stretched out and we're pulling down. And we can push down even more on that leg that's twisted. And we're holding it here. You guys are doing a great job. Keep holding. Big deep breath. to our backs. We're going to pull that knee into our chest just for a second more and we're going to slowly let go. Okay, we're taking our left knee into our chest and we're holding it here and turning our ankle here. Wake up our left foot. Stretching is so good for our bodies. We need it for so many different reasons. So many. I mean, I think that the, the most important thing is just letting go of everything else that's in our minds and just being here. I, I really think truly that's is more important than the stretch itself. 
So they kind of go together. We're taking that right arm, we're stretching that left knee across our body, and we're taking a gaze towards that left arm, palms facing up, pushing down, using our right hand to push that left leg down, getting a nice full twist in our spine. everybody breathe in and out and in and out and we're slowly coming out of that we are coming onto our hands and knees our hands are stacked nicely underneath our shoulders our knees are underneath our hips. Our toes are relaxed. We're going into a cats and dogs. We're arching our back, tucking our chin, separating our shoulder blades. And then we're dropping our bellies down, looking up towards the ceiling, squeezing our shoulder blades together, but maintaining that arm being locked out. And we're going back. Then we're gonna slowly go a little bit faster into this movement. And you're breathing. Each time, you're moving up and down. Beautiful job, everybody. You guys are pushing up into Dower Dog. We're pedaling our feet out. We are pushing our heels into the floor, alternating, and we are just holding it here. Big deep breaths. Breathe in. Just like she said. Ah. Okay, we're lifting that right. Oops. We are lifting that right leg up into the air, and we're gonna twist and point our knee towards the ceiling, driving that foot away from the right side. You should feel a nice stretch in that right side. We're holding it here. As you fall deep in the vortex. And we're bringing it back down. And we're lifting our left leg up and opening our left leg. Our knee should be trying to point towards the ceiling. And we're gonna bring down. We're stepping back. We're going down and we're pushing up. Chest is up, shoulders are back, and we're going to push back into child's pose, reaching our fingers forward. Time follows you from the past onwards. And you're going to walk your fingers. I'm going to turn towards you guys. We're walking our fingers to the left. Soulless, timeless, wave of euphoric energy. Allow me to whisper and breathe into your third eye chakra, breathing through the chaos and order. And walking them back to center the stars and over to the right side. Lining up for you, falling deeper and deeper, close enough to the beat of the goddess constellation. The goddess danced using all the planets and from their delight connected their essence one by one and back to center through light and color collecting the essence of the planets creating constellations and slowly coming up as she moves onto our knees we're going to step that right foot forward we're interlacing our hands behind our back she heard the murmur of the psyche and we're driving our arms away from our she glutes and back murmur, eventually connecting it toes should be pointed forward you feel a nice stretch in that left quad, left hip flexor. Relax your arms. We're taking our left arm. We're leaning into the right. Our chest is forward. The goddess you Our see palm is pointed for towards the feet front of the room. Of expansion, weaved in all forms into the third eye. And coming on down. When the goddess Step that left foot forward. In many forms, 
so that the creative force would fall. And we're reaching yes. with that right arm the light towards the left. By breathing and facing a wind indigo sun and moon into all beings. Oh, and we're coming on down. We're standing all the way up. We're taking a big deep breath in. Oh, and out. And we're re slowly reaching towards our toes. Standing at the gates of all constellations. She and we're slowly coming on up. Queens. Our feet are all wide. We're hinging back at the hips. We're leaning into that right foot. Bending and straightening simultaneously. Nice and easy. We're going to lean into the right leg and we're holding it here. You should feel a nice stretch in that, that left adductor, that left inner thigh. And slowly come and bend into the left. You should feel that in the right side. And we're coming all the way back up slowly. And we're going to come into a seated position. Our left foot is on top of our right knee. Okay, it should be a nice elevated. Our chest is up, our shoulders are back. Our hands are soft. We're gonna take a big deep breath in and we're gonna turn and twist to the right. On our exhale, we're twisting. It is for you. When you're dim, our chest is up. becomes dim. We're breathing into that twist. Then light shines. Within the placing. And we're going to take a big deep breath in again. And on that exhale, the garden we're twisting to the left. Tranquility. It is full of the peacock's design. You should feel a nice stretch on that left glute, so that left outer thigh. Your left foot should be on your right knee. Right back. Using your third eye chakra. Awakening your third eye. Look into the eye. Big deep breath. And we're coming back to center. Awaken. Big deep breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. And out. Okay, we're going to take our left foot off. Bring our right foot onto our left knee. Same thing. We're going to breathe in. This time we're going to turn to the left first. On our exhale, we're going to turn to the left. Our chest is up tall. Our, le our neck is long. There's a string pulling that head, our head up to the ceiling. The essence keeping us nice and tall. Is igniting, bringing you towards the energetic flow of abundance. Baby Stay breath in. And increase the indigo spark. And let go and turn to the right. Eye. Our Breathing eyes are soft. out this essence of the indigo light. Big deep breath in. Ah, and come back to center. The dreams you see and feel flow from the Neptune essence created still sitting with tall. the streams of Pluto. They were washed with the gold stream before the goddess placed this essence. And slowly let your foot come down. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. We're leaning forward. Relax. Our knees are open. We're grabbing our feet. We're letting our neck bend and relax. Should feel a nice hip opener, nice inner thigh stretch. Your chin is tucked into your chest. Feel, spin, letting your head relax. Because with each breath, you may feel as if you're falling deeper into the space of dreams. And this space is where you'll be taken to the goddess's essence. When you're slowly coming all the way up, your feet are gonna come forward. You're moving your hips forward and backwards. Your pelvis is moving forward and backwards. We're gonna come onto our backs. Our feet are out wide. We're dropping our hips side to side. Beautiful job, everybody. Such a pleasure being here with you guys today. This is going to sum up our day. We're bringing our feet back to hip distance apart. We're again pushing our lower back into the floor and away from the floor without lifting our hips.
Beautiful job. And we are, you guys can lay on your stomachs to end the day. I'm going to say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for another session of restorative stretching. Have a beautiful rest of the day and I'll see you next time.